My name is Ray Post. I am the first member of the European Parliament on a feminist ticket. Thank you. It's historical. <laughs> I'm also a Roma woman. I'm a human rights activist since many years. I'm also a mother, grandmother. I was also a daughter and a sister. So, who am I? I'm human. Being a Roma doesn't mean that I am from Rome. It doesn't mean that I am from Italy. I'm no Italian. The name by uh, which most people know my people are mostly very insulting. So mostly I don't say those words. But if there is somebody here in the room who doesn't know what the Roma is, we used to be called as gypsies or sigenare, sigoiner, sigan. So I tell you today, but I usually don't use this, but just for you to know. The Roma came to Europe from India about 700 years ago. During the linguistic science, we found out that Roma people left India before 1000. And we have learned that because of the language of Sanskrit, because year 1000, Sanskrit changed. So before 1000. Anyhow, it took about 300 years to come to Europe. And uh, the Roma came to Europe together with a lot of other peoples at that time. Different peoples that came from East. Today, all these people have their own countries, like Bulgaria, Serbia, Croatia, Slovakia, Czech Republic. They have their own countries. We have not. We were different. So what happened? We became slaves in Vlach. Today it's called Romania. We were slaves until 1870s, about 400 years, sold at marketplaces, at cattle. You can say that the largest diaspora of Roma people started at that time. So the Roma came to know migration and migration came to define us. Migration has been forced upon the Roma. We have never been allowed to stay, always asked to leave. Helping Roma has been punishable by law in Sweden. Up to the 70s, we were systematically harassed by state to leave. Last year, we discovered that pol Swedish police kept an ethnical register of a Roma. Children, babies, diseased, and old, elderly. Me, myself, was in that register. So was my children. I meant the grandchildren also. They never told me why. And they don't recognize that it is a register of ethical ground. So discrimination and violence make people move. So we have moved, traveled, migrated, fled. Society has forced us to do it to such an extent that people have to come to think of migration as it is in our blood. That is an important part of our culture. This is not true. What is true is that turning people into refugees and migrants is in society's blood. Today, Society creates migration through arms trade, exploitation of resources, environmental change, and economic imbalance. We have made life impossible in a lot of places. Today we have people looking to live, and to this, to this point we have decided that we haven't enough life to give. This is a problem. It has to change. In order to change and face problems, we need tools to challenge concepts and our view of the world. But a lot of things are hard to get to know, because migration, migration is painful. Those who have suffered want to be released of their memories, 
Those who want to know don't know how to ask. This makes dialogue very problematic. For such problems, art is democracy's best friend. Okay? Just as a democracy calls upon all people to rise up, speak up, and help build a complete representation of reality, art calls upon us to look at subjects in new, different, and refreshing perspectives. It's challenging. Then, with the digi digital revolution, we took a huge step towards becoming more real, more better represented, and better equipped to collaborate. To collaborate. Excuse my English. Art, democracy, and the internet will change many things. The follow-up question is, how? And we should never be afraid to ask ourselves how. I don't know how, but I know that we move forward and we solve problems. I have learned to ask how with anticipation and happiness, not with fear. I have learned to ask a lot of people over and over. I have learned to ask unexpected people. I have learned to ask myself. In a new global world, a lot of people are afraid of how. Change is frightening. You risk losing control, and risk is all they see. They do not want to see the suffering because they can, not, they can choose not to. We do not want to share because we keep sharing optional. Even if cre creativity can seem difficult, I will promise you, there are more solutions than problems. I repeat, there are more solutions than there are problems. I started solving my problem within myself. Despite all the discrimination, I decided I, decided I was just as good as anybody else. After that, I started solving problems for others. Now, with my role as a politician, I am solving problems together with hundreds of people for millions of people. And it all began with me solving one problem. Once you know it can be done, you can trust yourself to do it over and over. What you don't know today, you will know tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>